What's going on guys? Got a bunch of cool heads for you. Um, the first are the first two actually are for Trey. I just did that awesome OG Viper form with Assassin that he really loved. So uh, I'm excited to do two more heads for him. Uh, the first one is an Emperor X6 that he dyed boiled and did a really nice job at it. And um, it's kind of got this awesome relentless theme to it. And so the top's got neon green and white. Um, the side has neon green and the throat is white. And it's got the 15 mil relentless mesh and the white shooter setup. Um, it's got a nice king pocket in it. And uh, I was unsure how the king pocket was going to be in this head um, because the X6 heads, um, since they're smaller uh, across the scoop, uh, the mesh can't be pulled this tight to give you enough definition. So normally they kind of bag a little bit, but um, I was able to pull it off and even with like the limited number of sidewall holes. So um, that was pretty awesome. I was glad I could do that for him and it's, it's, it's a really beautiful stick. The second one from him is an STX Professor with an Assassin that's all white. Um, really like this combination. The head really lends itself to the Assassin. And uh, it's got a nice, d nice defined like, mid to shifting low pocket. So it's going to have a really good offset feeling because um, the head's more narrow. And it's going to be extremely accurate. And it's just a great attack head. Good marriage between pocket and head for sure. The next is a Jackie. Um, I really love this one. This might be one of my favorites just because um, uh, I don't get to string as much as them, but I think they're a great stick. And it, this is another good choice for head for pocket. So it's a white Evo light and with the Jester pocket and it's got white 15 mil throne mesh, uh, Carolina top, Carolina sides, gray throat with a gold screw. I like the little touch. And then it's got uh, a navy nylon and Carolina shooters. Uh, really nice channel with that low pocket and um, it's going to give you a lot of hold, quick release, um, and give you just enough whip for a hard shot. And I really like doing the low pockets and the wider heads up top because it's going to make it easier to cradle. But since the ball's low and it's kind of a deeper pocket that's uh, more focused, it's going to give you a really good offset feel and help really help you cradle and make it hard to get that ball out. Um, so it's a great attack head and also give you that quick, accurate release. So really love these two together. The next is for uh, Christopher. Um, Really awesome, I've done a few hits for him. Uh, he's a Fogo, and I was really excited to string this pocket up for him. Uh, it's a Warrior Blade Pro with a Juggernaut pocket, so it's got the uh, 20 mil throne mesh, and um, he's got one of those really cool uh, adrenaline tropic shafts that kind of have like, they fade from like a lavender red to a royal to um, uh, yellow. And so we wanted, he want, this is what he wants to put on, so we wanted to do something really cool for it. So um, I did red and blue for the top, neon yellow for the sides, red in the throat, and I think I'm gonna give them a, a blue screw to go in here. And then um, it's got royal shooters, and then the shooter locks we did red to royal to yellow to kind of go right with the shaft. Um, beautiful channel uh, with the with the 20 mil. It's gonna have a great soft feeling to it, and uh, it's just really nice. Um, I think my next Blade Pro is gonna get 20 mil in it. Um, with a setup like this, I think I just might lower them one and then add a, uh, a heavy nylon to it. And uh, it just came out really nice, and I hope you loved it because I really, really love it. And I think it's just going to look amazing on that shaft. So that's Chris's. The next is for James. Um, it's another Jester, which is awesome, um, on this kind of like war-ridden clutch. It's a little bit warped, and the bottom holes are bent, but it's still rigid, so it's still going to still gonna play. And uh, it's got 15 mil um, thrown mesh, uh, Carolina Fade, with um, a maroon top a maroon sides and a Carolina throat um, with a Carolina screw. I really like the, the maroon on the Carolina with a little bit of gold. I've, I've strung a few sticks for a team um, that have that and it's a really cool colorway. Um, where I grew up we really didn't have any team that colorway so I never really saw that for a school but I think it's really awesome. And it's got white shooter set up, um, nice channel with the, uh, uh, the Jester for sure. It's going to have great hold to it and just really love the way it turned out. The next is for Francis, um, another beautiful stick. Uh, he got a night pocket with a little bit of a twist to it. So this is a red Cobra X, uh, really beautiful looking head. And then he's got 15 mil white throne mesh and then he got a gray and white triangle top, white sides, gray throat. And instead of doing two uh, sidewall nylons, he has for a heavy nylon in white and it's got a five and three U in maroon. It's got a beautiful channel on it. Great shape, uh, really love the uh, the knight and the cobra. I mean, the cobra is one of my favorites, and I can really put any pocket in it. But um, this one, this one looks really nice. And it's also an X spec head, and to have a really nice pocket like that that's going to perform really well and be super accurate. It's just awesome. And it just looks great. I really like the the gray in it. 
with the red shoes. They did a really good job on the colors. The next is for my buddy Pete, who is a defenseman in the league that I play in, and uh, Pete likes a lot of whip, and so we, we wanted to give him a good whippy stick um, that he'd really enjoy. So um, as a defenseman, he throws a lot of sidearm type cranks, so um, I kind of did a custom spec for him in his black bionic, and uh, we did white six diamond throw mesh. Uh, he did, likes black and red, so I do that in all of his sticks. So uh, he's got red stringing all the way around, and uh, he's gonna get a red screw to go with it. And then a white shooter setup to make it nice and clean in the release. Um, really nice channel with the six diamond, and uh, it's really gonna snag right here and give him a lot of whip and a really good hold and really defined, nice pocket. You can really see the ball just like sitting right there. And uh, I think it's gonna be great. He's really gonna love it. Um, so that's his. Uh, next is Jack, uh, another really cool head, um, another jester pocket, which is awesome on this Evo 3, all whited out, um, looks really nice, really nice pocket, really deep and centered right where the flex point of this head is, so it's going to be really nice and just form, so that's awesome. Uh, the next is for Ryan, I actually got to meet Ryan at uh, uh, the MLL Championship, and so uh, I was able to uh, get ahead from him, and this is actually the first time I've ever strung one of these. The Razor Pro, um, I was never a big fan of them, but um, kind of reflecting back at them, it's a pretty cool head. And he's got a king pocket, and it's really high, really nice and defined, and I think he's really going to love it. So, um, just nice and clean, and uh, looks really nice, and you can see how to find it. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, camera lagged up for some reason. I got two more heads to finish with you. Um, this is uh, Liam. It's actually Ryan's friend. I also got to meet him at the MLL Championship, and he sent me a Maverick Spider. Uh, black and it's got 15 mil red throw mesh um, with a night pocket and it's got black and red for the triangle top black sides black throw with a nice touch of a gold screw and all black shooter setup um, it's a nice nice choice it's not the pocket isn't as defined as I would like it to be for a night um, it's kind of the, because of the shape of the head and where the holes are placed um, not my favorite designed head but um, came out nice and I really like the black and the red with a little bit of gold um, I think it's a really nice colorway and then the last one I have, I've had this head for a while. Um, it's one of the ones I just took like under contingency. When I get to it, I get to it. Um, it's for my friend Charlie that plays in Manhasset. Uh, really nice guy. And uh, so he's got this really cool Warrior Evo 3 Two Face. That's uh, his high school colors, a uh, little custom uh, Manhasset theme. So it's got one orange sidewall and one uh, navy sidewall with an orange uh, jewel. And it's just so sick. So. We did a pita pocket for him, um, and I kind of wanted to, uh, well, I'll walk you through it. So it's got white leathers, orange center, white mids, and then the sides flip. So on the side with the orange, or sorry, with the navy insert, we did orange sidewalls, and then uh, navy outers. And then with the side with the orange sidewall, we did navy sidewall with the orange uh, outer. So it actually flips. As you can see, and I think that looks unbelievable, especially with the center track being the same. It gives it that really nice look. Uh, it's really clean, and there's just that little bit of extra um, flair to it. And then it's got the navy top nylon white shooters, and it's got blue shooter locks. Um, I like combining the different shades of blue, so they all kind of go together, because they're never going to be perfect. Um, is this, this is a really dark navy, and uh, so is the cross lace. So I kind of wanted those to go together, and then the navy... Uh, cross lace and uh, or sorry top nine lines dark and the cross lace and sidewalls are a little or uh, shooter locks are a little bit lighter so kind of wanted to all go together and to look really nice and um, it, it just turned out really beautiful and I think he's gonna love it so um, that's his pita and uh, it's got a nice mid pocket and it's got a really nice channel and just love it really love the way it turned out I love the flip of the two I first wasn't too sure about it because I didn't know how nice it was going to look just flipping those two, but I'm really glad I, I kind of took the bet and uh, really loved the way it turned out. So that's Charlie's Evo 3, and that's all the heads, guys. For that's all the heads for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Maybe in the comments, throw which one you guys like the most, and that's everything, guys. Have a good one.